Hi guys, it's Simulsi here. So welcome to another apartment renovation. So today I am back renovating this Chic Street apartment, the Game of City Living. If you'd like to place it in your game, you can see the address on the top left hand side of the screen. So for this apartment, I want to do something that was for a single mom who is going to be raising triplets in this tiny apartment. I thought it'd be kind of fun. I thought it was, um, I don't know, a fun idea to build an apartment around this idea. And I also thought it would be kind of a fun game challenge to have a single Sim raising three babies, especially in a tiny apartment. Once they become toddlers, it's gonna get kind of crazy. And so, yeah, I just had this idea and I thought I would build an apartment around it and hopefully you guys will like it. And I also just wanted to do something that was kind of cutesy and cozy and yeah, I don't know. I like the way the apartment turned out. I am starting off by decorating the living room. I'm using this sofa that came with my first pet stuff. And I actually really like this couch because you can put two of them together and it looks like a sectional sofa. Now the colors of it are not always the best. I really feel like this one and the black and white swatch are the only usable swatches. Some of the other colors are nice, but I don't like that there's animal prints on the cushions. Like there's like a wiener dog on one and then like a cat on the other. And I wish I had more normal swatches because I feel like I would use this couch all the time because it's pretty versatile and it's nice and modern and simple. I don't know, I just like it. But either way, um, I knew I wanted to use this couch anyways in this living room. And I actually really like this floor plan too, by the way. I've done similar floor plans to this, but not exactly. And I actually really like it because I don't know, I like whenever I can do different floor plans in apartments because I have renovated them so many different times that I feel like I can never come up with something new. And then when I do, I kind of surprise myself. So um, yeah, I was happy about that. And the apartment ends up having two bedrooms, one bathroom, and then this is the living area. Now you could make the living area a little bit bigger because there is an entryway and then a small hallway leading to the bedrooms. So if you'd like it to be a bit more open, you could just like take down the walls and the archways and just kind of open it up a little bit and maybe it would feel like a bigger apartment, but I wanted it to have that more like cramped, cozy feeling. And yeah, I think I achieved it. And here you can see is the kitchen space and the kitchen I kind of fiddled around with for a while. I was not really sure what cabinets I wanted to use. And right now I have the Jungle Adventure ones paired with the Parenthood um, overhead cabinets and I end up swapping out the counters for the parenthood ones just so it matched better and plus I felt like the colors were a bit nicer for I don't know the look I was going for in this apartment and plus I felt like the jungle adventure ones I really like them a lot they're actually one of my favorite uh, counters and cabinets in game but I felt like the concrete countertops were a bit too like rough and industrial feeling for like the more softer, cozier look I was going for in this apartment. So that's why I ended up swapping them out. And I'm really happy with the way the Parenthood ones look in here because I mean, the Parenthood cabinets and counters just always look good in almost any build. <laughs> They're definitely my favorites. And speaking of new kitchen sets, we did get a new kitchen set with the kit pack. Um, what is it called? The kit kitchen pack something I country kitchen kit I think I there's too many cuss sounds <laughs> um but yeah I am planning on using that kitchen I haven't used it yet I have build ideas and I did actually build something to decorate like specifically I built it for that kitchen set and I cannot figure out the floor plan I cannot figure out how I want the interior to look I actually fully decorated it and I didn't like it so I don't want to share something that I don't like so um I'll keep trying or build something different, maybe like a farmhouse or something. I feel like it's definitely really like appropriate. This was more of like a coastal cottage, which I think also works. I don't know. I'll figure something out and I will definitely use that kitchen because it is really cute. The only thing I think is throwing me off about them is the curtain colors are very bold. Like I really wanted to use that very pastel blue colors. I thought it was perfect for like a coastal color, but then it has like these pink curtains. I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. But either way, I'm not using those here. So um, 
I guess it's not important now, but either way, the kitchen came together really quickly. I decorated it with a few clutter items and I think it looks really nice. And I think the colors just work really well with the colors in the living room. And I definitely wanted that area to be pretty cohesive since it's all one room. And I did fit a dining table in there, but it only has two chairs. And so once these little babies age up into toddlers, um, Maybe you'll want some high chairs or you'll just have your toddlers eat on the floor. I don't know. I think it's totally up to you guys. And it kind of adds to the challenge and like gameplay um, kind of strategy, I guess. But um, over here is the entryway. I have this beautiful side table that came in a free update recently and it was created by Peacemaker and it's beautiful. I love it so much. Like it's such a beautiful side table. And I thought it looked nice in the entryway and I think it matches the more modern interior I was going for in here. And I put some decorations up on top of it and a few other decorations here in the entryway too. And then over here is the bathroom. Now it's the only bathroom in the apartment. So again, once these babies become toddlers, you're gonna need some toddler potties. Maybe you'll put them in the bedroom. Maybe you'll put one here in the bathroom or maybe you could fit two, I don't know. But I think three might become a bit crowded and make the bathroom unusable. So um, yeah, it will just, again, add to the challenge of everything. So I thought that was fun. Hopefully you guys agree. But over here is another little sort of hallway. Um, there is a walk-in closet here. So if you would like to, you could probably put a desk in this little nook or something, or I don't know, maybe some activities for the kids to play with or something. But for now, I just put a closet for just extra storage and stuff. And then over here is going to be the mom's room. And I used this bed from Eco Lifestyle. I thought it suited the style that I was going for like perfectly. I loved like the wood frame and the nice simple, uh, I guess, design of the bed. I thought it was really nice. And then in here, I do use another item from the free update created by Peacemaker, this dresser um, or would you call it a dresser or is it more of like a wardrobe cabinet? Something like that. But either way, I thought it looked perfect. And then I just hang up some art and I struggled trying to find a rug I wanted to use in here and I ended up using this nice fluffy one. I forget exactly which pack that one came with, but I sized it up and I thought it looked really pretty underneath the bed. And then other than that, I just hung up a couple more pictures and a robe. And then over here is going to be the nursery for the triplet babies. And I wasn't sure exactly like what theme I wanted to go for and like, like what color scheme. So I just decided to use all three. Actually, I think there's one more bassinet color. I think there's a green one, but I used yellow, pink, and blue. And then I put these pictures above them that kind of correspond to the color of the bassinet, which I thought was kind of fun. And then other than that, I just put decorations that I thought would be cute in a nursery. I also made my own changing table. I used a dresser that came from Eco Lifestyle and I used um, a little bench that came from kids room stuff, I believe, but I raised it up and put it inside of the dresser and have it just, you know, poking out the top a little bit so it looks like a nice changing mat. And I think that's super cute. I really hope we get nursery stuff eventually. Oh, maybe actually, now that we have kits available, we could get a nursery kit. I would be very excited about that. And I want a clutter kit and a plant kit and a bedroom kit. <laughs> but um, here I thought about adding some debug bottles, but I didn't quite like the way they looked. So I decided not to, but it would be a good option. Maybe if you're doing some like storytelling where the sim becomes like overwhelmed with like baby stuff, you could have like bottles everywhere. Um, but I decided against it. Um, but here I am decorating this shelf above the changing table. I thought that was super cute, especially with the plaques from the hospital with the little footprints on it. And then over here on top of the bookcase, I do add some toys and different books and stuff just to add some decoration. And then this is basically it for the entire build. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this apartment and I hope you guys enjoy the screenshots. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.
feel 